Welcome to the world of They Were Expendable, a cinematic journey that invites you to reflect on the poignant realities of war and the indomitable spirit of those who serve. Have you ever found yourself transported back to 1945, the year this film first graced the silver screen? Or perhaps, as you revisited it over the years, a classic Hollywood actor stood out as your favorite, leaving an indelible mark on your cinematic memory. As we delve into the details of this classic, let me paint a picture of the era where the narrative unfolds against the backdrop of World War II. Directed by John Ford, They Were Expendable brings to life the harrowing experiences of PT boat crews in the Pacific Theater. The film stars the likes of Robert Montgomery, John Wayne, and Donna Reed, each contributing to the compelling portrayal of sacrifice and resilience. Before we explore random facts about this cinematic gem, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to They Were Expendable. Was it a particular scene, a character's journey, or the overall atmosphere that left a lasting impression? Your stories and memories are a vital part of the cinematic tapestry, and we would love to hear them in the comments below. Now, let's uncover some fascinating insights about They Were Expendable, offering a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes magic that brought this wartime drama to life. Dive into the details and rediscover the nuances that make this film a timeless piece of cinematic history. What's your connection to They Were Expendable? Share your thoughts and memories in the comments, and let's celebrate the enduring impact of this classic. They Were Expendable, released in 1945, and directed by John Ford as a war film set in the early days of World War II, showcasing the valiant efforts of the PT boat crews in the Pacific. Adapted from William L. White's book, the film delves into the challenges faced by the PT boat squadron stationed in the Philippines, highlighting their resilience and sacrifice in the face of overwhelming odds. The narrative primarily follows Lieutenant John Brickley, played by Robert Montgomery, and Lieutenant Rusty Ryan, portrayed by John Wayne, as they lead their small but formidable fleet against the Japanese forces. The film beautifully captures the camaraderie, heroism, and the harsh realities of war, emphasizing the unsung heroism of those deemed expendable in the grand scheme of military strategy. Ford's signature directorial style adds depth to the characters, and the film's poignant storytelling resonates with audiences, leaving an indelible mark on war cinema. They Were Expendable stands as a testament to the courage of the forgotten warriors, echoing the sentiments of sacrifice and duty. Its impact on popular culture is evident in its lasting portrayal of the human side of warfare, an enduring theme that transcends time and resonates with generations. The film's iconic characters, played by Montgomery and Wayne, contribute to its enduring legacy as a poignant war classic, firmly etching its place in cinematic history. Filmed on Key by Skane, Florida, they were expendable achieved a passable resemblance to the Philippines through extensive design and set work. John Ford, known for his spontaneous approach, made the most of unexpected situations during filming. For instance, when a fire broke out on Key by Skane, Ford seized the opportunity, sending a second unit to capture it for the Manila Bay attack scene. This reflects Ford's tendency to embrace unforeseen elements, like rain, which he incorporated into scenes deviating from the original script. Ford's dynamic style added a layer of authenticity to the war film, capturing the essence of the PT boat crew's challenges in the Pacific. Adapted from William L. White's book, They Were Expendable closely follows the exploits of Lieutenant John Bulkley and Lieutenant Robert Kelly. Interestingly, the film triggered lawsuits from Kelly and U.S. Army nurse Peggy Smith, who took issue with their portrayals. Kelly, depicted as impetuous and hell-bound for glory, led to legal settlements between the aggrieved parties. Despite these legal tussles, the film's adherence to the source material and its portrayal of forgotten warriors emphasized the courage and sacrifice of those deemed expendable in the grand scheme of military strategy. They Were Expendable remains a significant piece in war cinema, not only for its narrative but also for the unique filming circumstances that contributed to its realism. The film's enduring legacy, marked by iconic characters portrayed by Robert Montgomery and John Wayne, solidifies its place in cinematic history, showcasing the untold stories of resilience and duty during the early days of World War II. The movie, with its roots in historical accounts, stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who faced overwhelming odds in the Pacific theater. 
and the making of they were expendable in 1945. John Ford's directorial style wasn't without its challenges. The film, set in the early days of World War II, focused on the PT boat crews in the Pacific. One notable aspect was the on-set dynamics, particularly John Wayne's perception of favoritism towards his co-star Robert Montgomery. Wayne, a civilian among Navy personnel, felt out of place. Ford, known for his spontaneous approach, openly criticized Wayne, labeling him a clumsy bastard and a big oaf, highlighting the tension on set. Ford's authoritative presence was evident throughout the filming process. Robert Montgomery experienced Ford's assertiveness firsthand when he suggested a different shot composition. Ford accepted the suggestion, only to later question Montgomery's true opinion. This incident showcased Ford's control over the creative process, revealing a dynamic that wasn't always smooth behind the scenes. Adding a layer of authenticity to the film, they were expendable portrayed the real-life motor torpedo boat Squadron 3 in the Philippines during the war. The squadron, equipped with 677 feet Elko PT boats, faced combat losses and deliberate destruction. In the film, however, the boats were represented by 280 feet Elko and 478 feet Huckins PT boats. This adaptation reflected Ford's commitment to capturing the essence of the PT boat cruise challenges in the Pacific. The behind-the-scenes anecdotes and the film's deviation from historical accuracy underscore the complexities of filmmaking during that era. The clash between Ford and Wayne and the creative decisions made in representing the PT Boat Squadron contribute to the unique story behind They Were Expendable, making it more than just a war film. In conclusion, the making of They Were Expendable not only brought to life the untold stories of PT Boat crews, but also highlighted the intricate dynamics on set. Ford's assertiveness and the adaptation of historical facts added layers to the film's narrative, creating a piece of cinema that goes beyond the screen. As the credits roll and the echoes of the last scene linger in the air, we invite you to embark on a reflective journey through the cinematic landscape of They Were Expendable. This film, a poignant tapestry woven with threads of sacrifice, resilience, and camaraderie, has etched itself into the annals of movie history. Now, take a moment. Let the sepia-toned frames and the haunting melodies of the soundtrack settle in your mind. Perhaps, like us, you found a personal resonance with the characters who faced the unforgiving currents of war with unwavering determination. Or maybe, the film stirred memories of a bygone era, connecting you to the essence of a time when bravery stood tall in the face of adversity. As you reflect on your journey with They Were Expendable, we encourage you to share your cherished thoughts and memories. What scenes linger in your thoughts like an indelible mark? Whose character left an imprint on your heart? In this digital age, your stories and reflections serve as a testament to the enduring power of cinema, binding us across time and space through shared experiences. Whether you pen down your thoughts or engage in a lively conversation with fellow enthusiasts, let the spirit of this classic resonate in your discussions. Your unique perspective enriches the tapestry of collective memory, ensuring that the legacy of They Were Expendable endures beyond the flickering screen. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic voyage. Your time and contemplation are the final brushstrokes completing this portrait of connection. Until next time, as the credits fade away, let the echoes of this timeless tale continue to reverberate in the corridors of your thoughts. Crafted with cinematic nostalgia and appreciation, 